this is a big first for us. This is our first ever river cruise. We are in Amsterdam. We are boarding the Ama Waterways Ama Serto for our first seven day European river cruise. This is gonna be round trip Amsterdam. We are going into Belgium. It's called the best of Belgium. So let's do this. It's a bit chilly outside, so we had to put on our jackets to come show you the upper deck right now. This is really cool. This is where you're really feeling the river cruise vibe is up here. This is the very top of the ship and it's deck four. Yes, four, that's it. That's as tall as these ships are, but they're long. Long like we're used to, but not very wide. And up here on the top, there's lots of seating. There's a, a, there is a pool, it is heated. It looks like a giant hot tub, but it's considered a pool. And it looks like when weather's good, there's a swim up bar right there. Weather's not so great on this one, so I don't think we're gonna be seeing that swim up bar in use. But up here, you've got a jogging track. They do wellness classes up here. So like yoga and stuff like that. And um, lots of seating. So you can just sit here and, and watch the beauty go by. This is how we're doing our mustard drill. Yep, they're serving champagne during the safety briefing. Safety first! I'll turn to that. <laughs> well, we're gonna show you this ship over the next couple of days. Right now, we've been in the lounge. This is where the mustard drill was done and a briefing about how this entire river cruise is gonna go. We've made it to our cabin and you have to see this. This is swanky. I like it. So we've got the bed area here, plenty of walking space around. We've got ours made up as a couple, but if you're singles or friends traveling together, the bed will separate. We even have a seating area over here, which is really nice. You know, how often do you get that? This area is interesting. So it's like a desk vanity right here. What I've never seen before is this. So it's a computer slash TV and that's in every room. Okay, here we have an empty refrigerator. So uh, if you wanna bring some beverages on board, they do allow that. And then in this drawer, extra plugs. Isn't that nice? One thing of note, there are no USA plugs on these river boats. You have to have the European adapters. So you saw that big, nice uh, extender, all European. So make sure you have an adapter when you come on a river cruise. Closets and two umbrellas. So what's cool is the light just came on as the uh, closet was being opened. You have lots of space so we can completely unpack in here. And there are two umbrellas because it is a bit the rainy season and we did bring our own, but if someone forgot, you have an umbrella each in here. And over here, we have a bathrobe up here. There's another one in the bathroom, a safe, slippers, and then we have shoe polish sponge, a sewing kit, and then down at the bottom are blankets that you can take outside on the balcony. Check out this bathroom. This is a super nice bathroom. Everything is very luxurious in here and you don't need to bring anything. So you don't need to bring your own shampoo and conditioner. It's provided, body wash provided, very nice lotion provided. So you can pack less, which I absolutely think is fantastic. And the shower, mm, amazing. So in this very spacious shower here, we have a rain head. That's always nice. And we have the one that comes off, which also has different features. So this is gonna be a very good shower experience. And like I said, everything you need, you don't have to bring anything. When we're talking about the balconies, this is where you're really gonna see a difference in this cabin between a river cruise ship and an ocean cruise ship. First off, these windows open. So this is not a balcony balcony, it's called like a French balcony. So this is gonna open, but then we also have a true full balcony right here. Let's check this out.
and this is something we've never experienced before so when you're on an ocean cruise ship and a ship is next to you there's usually a dock in between you it's not like I can touch the ship next to us it's that close like literally I'm touching it so you gotta be a little careful with these windows you want to um, have clothes on <laughs> whenever you're in port because there might be a ship right there next to you that could see in your cabin so we don't have much of a view right now from our balcony because there's another ship right here but when we're going down the river this is gonna be nice yeah this is totally different than anything that we've ever cruised before so this is going to be interesting the room is absolutely laid out perfectly the bathroom is killer as you've seen the little lounge chairs here the balcony the bed the tv the little vanity i really like the way this thing is is laid out you got a full length mirror right here this is gonna be okay man like i could get used to this very very nice very very elegant and rich feeling yeah it's gonna be good i can't wait to sell away gosh this is gonna be nice we are heading to the chef's table tonight. So a couple things. Number one, the chef's table on any ocean cruise is gonna be at an extra cost. On a river cruise, the chef's table is included. So we are going to have that for dinner tonight. We are not going to do a traditional vlog in there because we are with a group, as you can see, name tags. Um, for those of you do, who do not know, I am a travel agent and we are here with our travel agency. So that's why you'll see the name tags in some of these videos. But let's go. I'm gonna, we're gonna show you all the food that we're eating and we'll give you a full report after. That chef's table was seven courses of deliciousness. Yep. <sighs> the soup was to die for. The dessert, those were my two favorite. The short ribs were really good too, but man, what an experience. I love that it was not pretentious and you didn't have to get super dressed up. We could wear what we had on for the day. That was great. <sighs> so full. Thumbs up. Really delicious Really food. good. So, I have to agree 1,000%. That was an amazing chef's table. Didn't have to dress up at all. The food came quickly and it was absolutely delicious. Oh my God, the soup was delicious. It was like a, a mushroom, lemongrass, coconut milk kind of concoction. It was probably one of the best, most delicious soups I've ever had. The salmon was delicious. The presentations were fantastic. The drinks were flowing. And it was dark, it was nighttime, but there's a panoramic view. If it was daytime, you'd be able to see the aft of the ship as we're cruising along. What a pleasant experience. There goes the chef down the elevator right now. That was really, really, truly special. So they have some entertainment on board tonight. He's a special guest. I think he, they said he was he was featured on like the uh, the, Voice in Holland. the Voice in Holland or something like that, or the UK, or he was in television shows. And he's supposed to be really, really great. And I can hear him in the background, and he sounds really great. And actually, the music stopped. So let's go in now. cold and rainy but that's okay because we got our our wind jackets we are ready to go it's a little rainy up here just a little bit but um I got my blanket over me and I've got my jacket zipped up 
and I don't think we're gonna stay up there here the whole time because we're it's about two and a half hours down the river we're going but uh this is a really neat good. experience first things first uh some of you were here already in the lounge i saw you working out very early at the crack of dawn basically so good job we are having lunch in the main dining room we can order off the menu there's a fuss station there's a little bit of a buffet but look how we're sitting the water is literally right there we're level with the water outside the boat this is so neat okay so we're gonna make our own pho vietnamese pho um they have fish, chicken, all kinds of proteins, duck breast, beef, tons of vegetables, different kinds of sauces, hot peppers, cilantro, lime. Ooh, let's dig in. What am I going to do? But we're going to put our vegetables in first. Got to get that beta carotene. <laughs> and all these these little things. It has sprouts. Sprouts. A little bit of all that. Lots of beef. Like the beef. Some by Spicy sauce. spicy sauce. We're gonna put a bunch of that. Some jalapenos. Yes, please. A little bit be fine. Some rice noodles is heating up for me. Gonna throw in there. I think I may have overfilled it. Did I overfill it? Oh, put all that delicious, good broth in there. Yum, 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 yum. So here you go. Thank you, Enjoy. Sir. No diet on board. Oh man, that's what I needed on this cold day. That is tasty. Yummy, yummy. I made it good. It's fantastic. <laughs> hey, that didn't work out too well. You get the idea. Jay come up with the word. It's phenomenal. <laughs> that works a lot better than what I was going to say. How was it? It's still delicious. It is fucking good. It's what? Ah, <laughs> get it? Oh, it's hot. I got some whole jalapenos in there with the seeds. So I got the my nose is running and I'm literally sweating. Look. <laughs> Ooh, but it's really good. You know, fancy food's great and all, but sometimes you just want a good cheeseburger and that looks like a really good cheeseburger. Is it good? Very good. Now that I'm all hot and sweaty from the pho, I'm gonna eat, try to eat this hamburger. It looks absolutely delicious, but I'm, I'm kind of full already. <laughs> but I'm at least taking a couple of bites. Looks good. You got some bread pudding? Yes. It is, the bread pudding's warm, the sauce is cold, and the flavor is really good. It's yummy. Is it moist? It is moist. So this is the dining room, the only dining room for the ship. But what's neat about it is it's the perfect size to fit everybody in one sitting. So you don't have early dining or late dining. You have one set dining time. And everybody just had lunch in here and it was completely comfortable. It was quick. The food was good. Um, and now, we are about to wander out for excursion number two of the day. So, just a little update. How we're gonna do these first two videos is video number one is gonna be life on the ship for the first two days, you know, boarding, showing you around the ship, the meals and stuff. Video number two is gonna be Amsterdam and Utrecht. So, we are about to get off in Utrecht. We are docking right now. We are heading into dinner tonight. We're sitting with a group, so we will not be filming dinner itself, but we will show you everything that we have to eat. Several items on the menu have an LS by them, and that means it's a local specialty. So since we're uh, in the I Netherlands, I'm not gonna even try and pronounce the name of this soup, but it's a local Netherlands <laughs> soup. I'm definitely gonna get that.
locks of the river right now. So we've got walls on both sides of us, a gate in the front and the gate in the back. So we are in the middle right now and they're raising the water level because the water on this side of the lock is lower than on that side of the lock. So they're raising us up to be even with that water level and then this gate's gonna open and we sail through. That's cool, this is not something you experience very often. Let's stop. Left foot, let's stop. Freeze! Everybody clap your hands.